Can you hear me now? Alright, looks like it's working. Looks like it's working. Whew. So good morning, everybody. I'm a little late today. It looks like I got my solar panel screws in today just now. That's nice. Ooh, that's what I'm missing. I need my monster in my life. <clears throat> it's a sleepy kind day. It's a sleepy kind day. I know that was uh, my Hawaii. I miss, I miss Hawaii terribly. I don't know if it'll even count. Mm-hmm. And she's on. And she's probably the only one in the category except me, I think. <laughs> There's one person who's in this whole category. So we're playing the new beta today. Um, I started a, a game of it last night when somebody told me that was what it was. I didn't even know that that was something new. I had it set up on auto updates on Steam and just assumed that I would be upped. But you have to go opt in to the beta. So if you want the beta version, you have to go opt in. That's just the way it is. I have to get a monster. I'm still with you in spirit. Game's still loading in. We're not missing anything. I really try to do this every day at 10 o'clock. And last night we did D&D. &D. Well, we were supposed to do D&D &D and it didn't actually happen. So then I ended up doing a whole bunch of other stuff instead of D&D. &D. And it made me late. But we had a good time, right? The uh, game, if you, um, I guess the games we played, if you want to see that, it's available on the YouTubes, the Yubtubs, I'll try really hard to not eat in your ear. Apparently the computer is doing a little uh, fun dance today. It seems like it's taking a long time to get this through. playing with the Brandon, I usually just squeeze his stuff in there. End of it? No, I cut off a little bit. Two curses. There we go. Of course it's not. I got this. I got this. It's under control. <clears throat> okay, so we are very new. <laughs> like it's a new, new, new game. Um, so that's what we're doing. The territory grab has begun. Cause look, there's some already over there. 
territory grab has begun. That's the waddle and daub. I always pick that usually because production early game, while important, it's not as good as food. Ah, the challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns, towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. So you want to skip the benefits of the market and move ahead as militarists? Let me grab the popcorn and sit back. So militarists, they can raise people in the defense of the motherland. It looks like we are in a battle and I'm guessing it's with a bear. I'll just run away. I have no need to fight a bear. One of my outposts can become a city, you know what I'm saying. A first city constructed. Walls, roofs, an outhouse. Ah, the luxuries of civilization. Starting with the pottery workshop. Um, there's no population. That seems fair. And I must research things, probably the this since I have so many resources, pearls too. The turn pending. Slow ass computer. And somebody came right behind me with the harpians. Right behind. And he's right here on my border. I see. <clears throat> I see. So I'd best get this one and don't have any influence to 186 influence. What the hell? Into my second territory? Hold up, wait a minute, there's probably a Civic that I haven't unlocked yet. Okay. Might as well go over and meet them, I guess. I could ransack it. The agrarian Harapans. You're as likely to meet their canals and farmers as their soldiers. I'm like, that would be a great place to have um, a new city. Look at that. It is my great honor, as the leader of a great people, to greet you in their name. Oh, this is one of the new ones I got. I downloaded. D rocks has no benefits. We introduce ourselves. Greetings, sovereign. Do you too believe that there is no sure, limit? Maps. What do you say oh. to this appealing, neither interesting? I don't know why people are so stingy with their maps. Like, truly don't know. Did they get sounds? I felt like they didn't have sounds before. Come over here. 
see, like, that's gonna be a nice place for an outpost. Come. Both our peoples need this. I will counter that. I'm not easy to convince. Too bad. Why would I accept this? As you wish. If she, uh, he wanted me, he could have given me the maps and I would have given him the trade license. The Mycenaeans. Still haven't got a population yet. One in eight turns. Idios Mios. I'm going to send them both back. If I have to turn them into archers and warrior, I will. Obviously, we need food. <clears throat> Disband him, get a population, which is a person. Now it still says one in nine turns, so it doesn't work. Put him on science. I think that, what that gives me? Yeah. An extra six science per turn, which matters a lot, which that makes me. Yeah, it's like saves me four turns on that science. And I'm kind of hoping I can bring this back, this guy back, and Let's go. we will get another one. And I could put this fellow into production, although now it says I'm losing food. Like, what? Negative one in 18 turns, and it's negative one in 9 turns. I think we'll get the farmer's quarter before the negative nine in one turn. Because that happens in two turns with that. Still two turns. Calendar research, which gives me granary, which would also help the farmer situation. But probably not as much as the corners. And the silk gives me five production. Like, silk's really good, like 5% production, which I guess isn't that great early game, but, you know, I'm gonna build production. And I definitely just said that I was gonna build an army, didn't I? Like, I said that. But... I mean, I should. I don't have anything to... I can't, because I haven't researched it yet. That's fair. So, archers, because production should be huge in this city. That completes my farmer's quarter, which still gives me, like, not that much. I'm not really sure what its point was, not being able to get up here to the food. I don't know if I can get up there at all unless I buy that other territory next to it moving around. Which... I still need a unit to do that. It's okay. I'm just going to save all the infrastructure. I'm going to put down the maker's quarter, and then after that I'll build a unit. I could attach this. But I should save it. Damn it. So, what do you say? You fascinate. Perhaps just a little something more. Hmm? Just because he started it. He started that whole shenanigans. Alright, great. Archer completed. 
science. Uh, we'll build this, even though I don't have horses. Nah. Two food in a river is not really gonna help me either. Harbor might. Oh, that's a long way away. A long, it's 17 turns. Your first artisan's quarter. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the point of this is. Why is that down arrow blinking? <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a whole lot of turns here. This guy definitely <laughs> just took that territory that I was thinking about taking, but because it has the horses in it. The land grab. Should have kept out a scout. It's like, it cannot be done. Oh, we finally had a population growth? That's one person for that. Plus, look at all the dies and. I don't really. I mean, like, it's gonna be a great city at the end, but I really need to get some more. I think we can undertake a common venture. Oh my god. Accepted. Welcome as a warm day in winter. We'll trade everything, I hope, because he's got the horses I'm gonna need. Oh, look, and he just refused. Proposal. Just refused. I would not I demand. This proposal upon my people. This is your last chance to avoid unpleasantness. Be wise. See, all I wanted was the access to the horses. Now I'm gonna have to go start some trouble. Now I'm gonna have to go start some trouble. And I, like, how are we at 10? I guess now because I've gotten rid of a person. Why is there still no population? That took two population to make an archer? No, I only need one. But the population has fallen to one due to low growth. I guess I'll get it back next turn. But, damn. Interesting. The lumber yard. And that's gonna give me like four production just off the bat. I feel like I should definitely ransack this before. Oh look, it's gonna take seven turns to get there. <sighs> Never mind. This one's probably more important anyway, and it suddenly I don't have enough influence. Oh, good. <laughs> and if I put that one person into production... Doesn't really help me that much. Even with my five production... Like you're looking at a food Is that in the same territory that is not in the same territory friend like I'm obviously trying to get the one with the die on it Mm. 
209 influence. I feel like that used to be cheaper. Like, because I have my 9 influence per turn. 209 is going to be a long way out of it. I make the computer auto explore, but then watch it. Because a lot of times it gets stuck, but the heat, the the computer knows where all the goodie huts and stuff are. It knows the way around the terrain, so it explores a lot faster. But it seems like it does it in just like a random order. Because now you're like, I kind of want it to go over here, and hopefully it'll explore a lot of stuff along the way. Because the computer's going to make me readjust courses several times as the game develops, like, definitions. It doesn't, that looks like a natural wonder. Follow me. I mean, but look at all the production, though. See, and they've just absorbed it into their city immediately. I guess I should do the same thing. And outposts give you... Like, mine are defensible because I'm... Militarist. Or that's that was the one I chose, and I'm really not sure it is the same helpfulness, really. So we're looking at the city now has 40 production, I guess because it has two people in it. Thought it was a natural wonder? Was not. Now we're up to 10% industry. I don't think that really helps it any. It's 1 in 8 turns. 1 in 34 turns? Okay, so I guess it does help. <laughs> and then I'll probably build another farm recorder after that. <clears throat> I really wish I could get it up here. Acknowledged. But curiosity. More die. More silk. That's in my territory even already. Oh my gosh. Also, the forest is in it. I'm like, wait, there's a for Oh, I'm in the forest. It's just a forest. Okay, got it. <laughs> Excuse me. So, yep. <clears throat> Population gang in Peacock. I 
could attach this city. But I really need to build some outposts. Like, I need this territory in my life. I decide which the territory this is exactly. Look, a curiosity. Like I perfectly knew. Random gold will take. So this dies in this territory somewhere. In 16, 6 and 12. So now I feel like I need another farmer's quarter. Oh look, there's one I can put up here now. Nice. Like, what happened to all my influence? Oh, right. I put down one of those. Good times. So I need to make this fella come over here. See what else we got in our territory. Let's exploit, what is it, patronage? I guess maybe I have to build one of those on the pearls too, unsure. Because it's definitely not giving me the benefit of the pearls. Over this way. There's a lot of canyons in this map. Oh look, a lair. Off we go. I feel like archers should have the, you know, brunt of that if you're fighting wild animals. Archers versus animals, archers usually win pretty well. We'll take free gold. Successful ransack. Oh, I didn't click on the button to see if it does it. Executing your yep. first ransack <laughs> is not very friendly, but it's better to be the ransacker than the ransacky. I like the word ransacker. Especially the way he says it. Rensekhe. I could build Artisan's Quarters, but I should just attach the territory <clears throat> for 120. Since I already built it in the other one. But I really need the influence for setting settling my cities. Claiming territorize, since obviously this direction's kind of should go this way. Cause you know, I could start a war, but I don't really have units for that. <laughs> don't really have the units for that. I thought they were supposed to adjust the stability in the beta patch. I wish. I feel like this would be a great place to put it. So two pearls. Oh look, there's another curiosity on the wrong side. Maybe it'll give me some influence. <laughs> it did. And allows me to put down another outpost. How wonderful. Mm. 
put it in the middle of this forest. I guess it's time for the... maybe? We only have two farmers, so that we don't like. This would only give me four food. This would give me seven. Even though I'm losing stability at this point. Hmm. I guess we need to go find out what's over here. I'll put an auto explorer. So many mountains. I just missed it. It just didn't even give a shit about that. I guess it's probably gonna go around. D. I'm thinking it doesn't know, but it does know. What? Not gonna get the curiosity. Well, that was your job, dude. I believe I can put down another outpost. No, it's so far away. <laughs> oh. New Civic. Yay! <clears throat> so, faith on a territory or instant on the main plan. Why was this even a question? Gonna be a thing. Let's keep it simple. We've been percent outpost creation. Thank you so much. Wish I'd had that a lot sooner. Yeah, 131 is much more attainable. 200 and something like Jesus. Really? This little bug just flew in and landed on. I don't even know where they come in. Like it's I'm literally in an enclosed space. Anyway, um So still doing food, it looks like. Because I still have stability, but what I, I said, granary, because now it's going to give me six food since I have three of them. Or the Arsons quarters, I need to get on for the... All the pearls. All the pearls and all the worlds. A harbor is a good choice. It's a good choice. Yes, sir. I know, I, I really try not to have resting bitch face all the time, but my thinking face is definitely resting bitch face. Rules on why and how things are. Uh oh, because they oh because they claimed a territory on my border. <clears throat> are they trying to tell me there ain't nowhere else to go? Like, why are you coming in my direction? Just settle one on my border. Greetings from me and my people. To me, that is a border. This is trespass. I don't like that.
When do I get my... It's Gout Archer's next. That's 68 turns away. That seems like a long way. Just only have... That is no population. That has one population. This one has two. And I could absorb it at the 120 as well. It's gonna give you 20% production. That's gonna be nice. Yeah, because they want they all they have is the runners. But I don't have organized warfare yet either, so And this one uses the population. Raised when besieged, militarist iron reserves. Compare the column of measure take up defense of their motherland. I mean, I guess it just produces an army of four of those things. I don't know why you'd want them, though. Especially as to the point that we have... <clears throat> uh, also, they changed it. It's faith on the main plaza, or faith per administrative center. Bloody and smelly, aren't they? History may be changed by battles, but that doesn't mean they're enjoyable. That's new too, I feel. It's not going to make it there before it's a full outpost. I like the combat in this a great deal more than a sieve. Combat in this one is much better. No Idle City. So I can make stone rings, which stability is something I needed, for sure. But the real question is, where does one put said stone rings? That's probably going to be super picture picturesque. The propaganda machine. Reports from military commanders together with grisly accounts from Battlefield confirm that your forces achieved the famous victory against the might of the Hittites. But irregularly, news from other parts of your own empire plant a very different picture. Apparently, stories from circulating that describe your forces being routed by the Hittites. Being routed, and the Hittites being victorious. Wait, what? Aren't we the Hittites? Have... <coughs> Hold on. Confirmed. 
that your forces achieved a famous victory against the might of the Hittites. But clearly the enemy isn't using the superior fame to rewrite history. How you canter this Victoria propaganda is because they think they have better fame than me. And they do, because I'm really lacking. <laughs> like, really lacking. So, stability? Nope. Learning? For sure. Alright, we'll just, you know, take notes. Taking notes, taking names. So we got the horses. But I have nowhere to nowhere to get the horses. Of course it's so, Oh, it's up to ten turns now, that's good. Um I feel like we should get the wheel. And I could probably move that up a little if I moved one of these from food. a whole turn. Because I put down bunches of food. And I'm sure if I put down more food across the top, there'll be bunches of food. Bunches and bunches of food. I'm just going to go ahead and ransack that. Thanks. Just thanks for that. Off. So, what do you desire? Hate filled. We are much less powerful than them. Then why does it say much less powerful than them? Wait, did that somebody just get to the... Yeah. So far behind. I'm a, I mean, I guess I have three stars almost ready. Another population. A bit more money. That gets me three more stars, but then I'm still too short. I need to go to war so I can get the military stars. <laughs> but I don't know if I... I don't really have any idea what they're doing here. <clears throat> And I really kind of want to... No. Not yet. I'll wait till I get right there, and then I'll declare war. <laughs> A new wonder can be claimed. <sighs> I do love the Temple of Artemis with that... The healing. But I could have made a city for that. Could have made a second city for that. Game of Prophecy, oh, I have the gold, so fine. Can I buy out in this unit? Nothing. Someone's blowing me up in the chat today. Oh, look. There's a thing. But they have three horse archers and a warrior. And that would take me three turns to get to that. <coughs> So that's my outpost. And I feel like if they want to siege my outpost that's right here, good luck. I mean, I might just make them right here. Talk about claiming the high ground. I wish I could build a fort. I guess I could have built a fort right there, but I think this is a fort already. I think it's a fort already. The Nubians just reached the ancient era and kept their traditions. So 
So in a queue here. Definitely the granary is worth it at this point. But I also said I wanted another archer, didn't I? Because we're going to get one in 30 turns. Alright, because we're in this territory. If you think you're coming to get it, I'll tell you something else. It says that their side is stronger. I guess it's because they have the, the horse situation. But I think I'm going to do it anyway, because... Oh, see, they ran away. make the demand. Because I would have won that. It's why the computer's like, oh, your side's better if I had auto-targeted it. But I would have won that as the aggressor. And I probably should just be the aggressor anyway, quite frankly. So, I mean, I don't, they might have two cities now, I don't know, but it's a big one. <laughs> Alright, so science-wise, what else do I need here? Probably, I mean, the irrigation, and <laughs> this would be nice. So with this bronze working, I bet I need for my unit. This time, your actions will come. The proposal is sloppy. My answer is no. The Azuras reached the classical era. Oh, see, look, it's some two stars behind that. Still last place. One more turn. Okay, good that we're converting people. The whole reason I put down the holy side first. Right, but we only have one more move point, so might as well next turn. Okay, I'm kind of curious to see what they're gonna do with that our army anyway. I guess they're not gonna do shit. So we're going to war. <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay, we'll just move down here. They can't get me either, but I now outnumber them. That would be a great bit. That would be a great battlefield for me because I'm at the top. I could choose this, and I might still if they decide to siege me. But I think you get, like, don't I get them anyway? Maybe I haven't researched that yet. So that might be nice for early game. Like if they tried to attack my city over here, I will use this to spawn them. So I can still just wave to these guys and be like, ha ha, bye. <clears throat> I'm gonna move this one tile this direction. Is this something I can ransack? What is this? Oh, it's a garrison. Interesting. I'm not sure what happened. I guess it just takes a point of movement. Unsure. So they're coming after my city. They think they're funny. Uh, so let's build the Palisades. I'm probably not going to... Maybe in four turns. Maybe if I move everybody over to... Production. This is the most I can do. And I can get it in three turns. And I'll... 
spawn a military unit, but now it's like, does that just screw up my everything? <laughs> Screws up my everything, though. So now it's back to four turns. Show details. It does seem logical that Definitely. people shouldn't have to do a job unless they want to. <laughs> They're like, my side is stronger overall. Because <clears throat> I don't believe they have any warriors, right? I mean, I don't, they don't have any archers. And these guys have a combat strength of 16 to their 18. So I mean, like they're not even like superior, superior. But I have five of them. And if I just defend, what happens? So far, still winning. So if I move this guy up here, guy over here, and then do that. Now what? Well, now what happens? Like let's freak the AI out. It's like what? Now I can't <laughs> Battle will continue next round. <clears throat> Like what? <laughs> they put down another outpost. That's pretty funny. I wonder if I can go at siege their city. Oh, do I have to ransack this first? Something to break that, but that's okay. Uh, yep, still just ending the round. Because my job was to defend my flag. <laughs> and if I got to attack these, right? Like. If I move them out, then they can be attacked. And I don't really want to lose my population, so screw them. They can spend their whole time just hanging out over here. I have, I get stone walls. See, it's a victory, and I, cause I still won that guy. We lost nothing, and they lost them. Call it a day. That means they had to go back to their city, right? Like I feel like when they get victorized, they send back to their city. So now I need them to go back into the city. Because I can still just use it again. I hope. 30% war support, equilibrium, value, and relations. Oh, I guess that's just part of my thing. So, yeah. <clears throat> or maybe I should have done 
I don't know if here is good for this. I think I will assault. Cause I have a bunch of air, <laughs> like, cause I have a bunch of arrows, but I don't know how long. I feel like, oh, cause they're up here now too. They've decided to be outside of the thing. Okay. I was going to say, I feel like I had the opportunity there. Their levies are 15, and my archers are 19. I might as well, I'm just going to make him defend. <clears throat> of course, it looks like they're not going to attack them anyway. Of course they are. Seems, they seem smart. The AI is not that smart with the battle situation, for sure. <coughs> For your families. And the levees are gonna loot. Like, that's probably gonna kill the levees. Oh, maybe not. So close, though. But they'll attack themselves, though, and probably end that next round. See, they just end themselves. For eight points of damage. And I'm gonna move this guy back. Probably gonna lose the archer. Unless maybe I move it. Nope, I don't have enough space for that. And they could take 11 or 25, and I take 15 to 30. So I might as well wait. See, I knew that was gonna happen. Alas, poor Horatio. We knew you well. Continue next turn. Over this way. I got some sneaking around like they're trying to do reinforcements. No fear. Charge. Siege at Harpia is mine. <clears throat> and I think they're dumb. <laughs> like hella dumb. Your presence enrages me. They have negative four. Even that's only eight. <sighs> oh well. Oh look they have that's their Scouts still running around. Oh, they're trying to. Are they trying to? Yeah, they're trying to ransack my outpost. It looks like. And they have four of those scout archers. That's okay. I guess it'll be alright. I'm gonna win the war, so it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I don't have any copper yet. So they must have made a new city. Like, I wonder what happens when you get your main city taken. Like, does that just make you... Like, does your next outpost just become a city? I've never had that happen to me. And if I go to this and I buy out, am I, I don't have enough money to buy out a unit. So close, though.
Now, obviously, I should heal up a little bit, I think. <coughs> and I could probably choose this to bring up. Of course, they don't have four people in it, I guess. The city was jubilant before I took it over. Show details. That should help with simplicity and keep things focused. I really wanted that for the Depending combat course, unit bonus. Where you go next. I don't like it. how many turns is it going to take me to get over here. I missed that. How many turns? Can't do it. Is this next turn? I don't know. Oh, not that bad, I guess, because there's roads. Now that I've connected my outposts, there's roads, I guess. <laughs> Another archer. I wish I had the uh, uh, copper, but don't. And I still need districts. See, I should probably. I gotta build a district after this. <laughs> so I can get my next star. Harbor counts as a district. Definitely putting that in somewhere. I think I'm gonna put it there. Because you can put. You get adjacency bonuses for market quarters. So I should put some over there for market quarters, I think. Did I make him spawn down here? Did. <laughs> I think that was okay, actually. I probably ought to... Have 146 to do it with. Got it. So they only they must have only done that to. So we'll make it go here and we'll get them to meet up over here somewhere. Because I might be. Did I already research that? I don't think I've researched that. The uh, reinforced warfare. 54 turns. That's gotta be a glitch. Masonry into... Oh, I didn't have, didn't have bronze working either. <coughs> Falling behind in the science situation, you guys. I move one of these over. It doesn't really change it too awful much. 23. Still one in four turns. Give me some science in two turns, though. Say. You think they run, they're not, they're not going to run away from me? Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. The dogs of winter. Uh, like, should we have dogs to guard the consequences? And we do. Increased by five. You're unwelcome. Speak quickly. Nice. And then as soon as that harbor finishes, that'll finish me up. Ah, 
I was like, does he really think I'm not gonna do something about that? So all they have is scouts. I have a real army. <laughs> oh good, is this a... I was like, is this a... Oh, okay, I was like, if that's a free people already, I'm gonna be mad. We can go ahead and ransack this. You don't need that. Silly rabbit. This one's really good. Gathering, sharing, forming a community. Might I recommend throwing in a few feasts as well? Are they going to attack me? Making my way downtown, driving fast and rampaging. Bump da bump da bump bump. Cause even if I don't get it, I'm going to take it from you. Yeah. Bill, assault this. Manual battle it. I will end deployment. So the warriors will wait. Archers will pelt them from afar. Is that a warrior? Are these just levies? And they just decided to come right on out. I'm like, we gonna kill these archers. Okay, so these guys need to get murdered. Fell for the trap. Kill the weakest ones first. If this guy moves into here, we can then attack them For your families. with their own defensive bonus. Like, sorry about it. Because he'll kill them. Oh, he says that, but then nope. Darn it. <clears throat> that one lone guy. Oh, I have an archer still? Oh, yeah, nice. Just kidding. Sorry, lone guy. Oh, because I got the military stars. Yay. Remind me later, because I'm probably still going to wait. Like, at this point, I might as well wait to get the extra fame. Since I'm still in 10th place. And first is literally... Is he in, like, a whole... Like, is he two arrows apart ahead of me? <laughs> I don't even know how to tell. He could be two arrows ahead of me, but I don't know how... Because he has 3,061. That's so much. I am close to the victory. I was gonna say, I think all they have left is that... Uh... Oh, at least they have two warriors there. And a runner. We'll just instant resolute that. I'm sure I'll find him. He ran away. How'd they... what? <laughs> he must have just retreated.
That's, I hope this is not a glitch. Ooh, we don't have enough of that, but I don't have any independent people to assimilate yet. Well, that doesn't look good. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me go to the bathroom and I'll have to bug report this guy. <coughs> Always wash your hands. Just because coronavirus is less of a threat does not mean we should not be washing our hands. Because, good God, humans were dirty before coronavirus. Mm. So... I don't really know what to do about this. It's worth a Google. Humankind bug... Resolution. Oh look, it's already a thing. Somebody, somebody knew that. Your diagnostic logs. How is that a thing? These are time stamped, and then any time you close or relaunch the game, new one is started. Please grab all diagnostic logs related to the session you were playing where the issue occurred. These are in default users, username, documents, humankind, temporary files. Where was that again? So this PC, uh, C drive, users, me, documents, humankind, temporary files. <coughs> Please grab all the diagnostic log related to the session you were playing where the issue occurred, and am I supposed to know which ones were created? I guess it's the one that were created today. Same issue here. By uh, cheesing the war score, I kept attacking their last city with one unit and retreating it. This caused them to gain some war score and me to lose some. After doing this for a few turns and killing what might have been their last military unit, the screen was no longer empty and I could enforce demands. It doesn't deserve a beauty award, but it seems like I can at least finish the game. Here are my logs for the same issue. I should do that thing, same thing too. What's that spots on top of that? Uh, probably not. Yeah, it feels like I don't need that. Hopefully, that will help. <laughs> have reported said bug issue. So let's see if we can cheese it. It's probably not going to let me because I don't have any way to turn. I don't have any way to do anything about this. 
I don't think, right? Were I to... Oh, let's detach. Cannot be done while the ransack is in progress, because they're ransacking. Could... Buy out a unit? Nope. Still not. <laughs> oh gosh, let me turn on my air conditioner. It's getting hot in here. Starting to sweat. Oh, it's already on. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Turn up the fan a little, maybe? But now it's going to blow me away. Does it sound like there's an air? Does it sound like there's an airplane in here with me now? <laughs> I can already tell it's loud. Hold on, let me fix it. Up. I'm just trying not to die, y'all. It's hot in here. Maybe I can turn on this other fan. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little better. Doesn't look like it actually. right there on the cusp of whether you can hear the fan or not. I can see it blinking. <laughs> I think I can do that. The noise gate. Let me just move it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. That shouldn't cause too much of a problem. I just have to make sure that I enunciate and speak clearly. But it's not like... It looks like I can't really do much. I mean, like, I don't know if I'm going to try to reload or... Cause that's upsetting. I wonder, well, maybe if I choose the next era, that'll help. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> plus ten combat strength when ransacking on a unit. Plus two con influence on a garrison. They get influence and faith and stability. This one has fortification. Twenty-five buyout on constructibles. Industry for coastal water, industry for lake, wondrous person. It counts as a farmer's market, and a, like, and they get the war elephant. I'm getting, I'm taking it. I've never done this one. Take the war elephant. Well, shit. Maybe I can load the previous turn. We'll see if that happens. Maybe I could reload a few turns prior and try to do something different. I don't know if that's even going to happen. Close to victory in the war support. <clears throat> Maybe I'll choose this first. I mean, I've never been them either. Money per territory is under the under the re religion's influence. Let's reface. Money per adjacent market quarter. They said they nerfed the Huns. Special unit gathers food through fighting and ransacking in order to multiply. I just don't know if that's going to be a whole thing. I like this one too. Rome, Rome's good, because influence and stability. Can't be mad about that. Let you build more districts than the other things. Muteness. But it's occupied for me. Uh oh. Does look like it's still blank.
one idle army. I'm gonna try to come over here and do some war score. Still not. So maybe if I load back a different turn. I'll load in turn previous. <coughs> so this is before I took their city. Did that in one turn? I find that hard to believe I did that in one turn. And I know they're coming up here to ransack one. Like, and why can't I make this a unit spawn point? So, they're actual. I need to ransack this one. Let's go. I was ransacked. Those bastards. Because that had a faith thing in it. I'm like, uh, what? I guess I'll ransack one too. That kind of looks like a wonder. Because I build a harbor next turn. That's a long, that's a lot of turns away. Your first harbor. Fishing, trade, voyages of exploration. You will see many things out of this tiny window onto a huge world. And it's still blank. And it's still blank. Bonus you may treat for them like loot and property, but they are still human beings. So it's not going to work. Didn't we just we just discovered that this is a glitch where it's broken. I wonder if that has to do with. Uh, let me just load back like a few more turns. We'll see if I can load back previous turns and see if that'll help. And it's just like, yeah. Oh, I think I'm loading, like, maybe that's what I'm, like, what turn am I on right now? I'm on 112.
We'll go back a few turns. Let's see if I, this affects it. Show details. It's all done. I need my idle armies here. We're definitely going to ransack this. And I could definitely just produce the levies again and move them out <coughs> to defend my cities. Especially since I know it's coming. Like, cannot be done. It's not till four turns. So the harbor has to happen in nine turns. to be able to go to the next era score, but as we established, that's not that big of a deal. I don't know why I can't make that a unit spawn point. I wonder if that was because it was one of theirs. I'm not sure. Not sure. Because they still don't have... Well, they do have two warriors, but... Don't know if I can do anything about that. I don't know if they're going to... Because two warriors and two scouts, so my war one warrior wouldn't win. They have two turns for that. Take me four to get up here. Oh look, there's stuff in my way. I think that was the one that was going for over here anyway, right? Oh look, they ran away. I guess they saw my archer and decided to keep it moving. Or maybe they saw my warrior and decided to keep it moving. And she were... Sometimes I feel like the computer is fucking with you anyway. Because, like, it doesn't really want you to get this whole city. Like, maybe that was the problem, was I was trying to annex. Like, I easily could have taken his both his cities, just boom, boom, and he'd have been out of the game. And I feel like the game does not like you to do that. And I have, have I researched the war? Oh, next turn. <clears throat> well, next, my next project, but I have not adventured in that avenue yet. And I mean, I'll be able to attack them next turn. And it takes them two turns, so I'll be able to get there before the ransack occurs. Yes, come on. Fate of the Free Cities show details. I feel like I've done this a million times and I don't, don't have the insight and don't need that yet. 
I mean, I have. There are free cities. I do need to invest in said free cities. Because free cities are just that. I mean, like, it's worth it to use the influence in late game to get army. I, mid, mid game. Mid game. You can just use your influence to convert them, get their armies, and then and release them again. Sometimes the influence is only like 250. And you're like, you get a whole army for 250 influence? Done. And then they're still friendly with you afterwards. So like, you just give them 150 gold and let it re-accrue and then reassimilate and revert and re liberate them again. In case you're just joining us, we're trying to figure out this bug with the war victory thing. Because I've already beaten these people twice, but when you get to the war resolution screen, it's just blank. So you're like, oh, well, that's a thing that happens. Alright, so we are going to attack them this turn. And it looks like they're going to stay and fight. Or not. <laughs> they're just going to run away and be annoying. Okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. Still gonna send this one over here. Oh, see? Ah, it's still... Still dead. It's still dead. I have a theory that it might be because I'm using one of the... Uh... AI that has no... No things. Like, there's no... Bonuses or... Ben I bet that's what it is. Because he doesn't have... Like, the algorithm is probably needed to make why am I why can't I make words happen the algorithm is probably needed in order to like generate a peace deal but I don't know why because it gets me I'm the one who's choosing the peace deal based on mathematical forms and waves I have no idea why this bug's still happening in case you're just joining us I had already reported the bug and I've tried to reload I've tried to do I went back like 10 turns and do different things in the war so it looks like I'm just going to have to start over again, because that game is literally broken right now. And that's... I am playing in the beta. Uh, that's a big deal. So if you haven't played in the beta yet, you might want to wait until they fix this one. Because I think this breaks your game. But I have a suspicion that it has something to do with picking an AI that has no... benefits. So like last time, I did a whole bunch of um, AIs. Oh look, there's my friend Asher Maid. We finally did make it work, so he's in my game at least. That's nice. Um, but this guy has no like his AI persona. Oh, I guess there is one. It's benevolent and normal. But that wasn't showing up in the thing. But he's one of the ones that I moved in. Oh look, Asher made an advanced one. Got lots of scores. He had all kinds of things. He's making this hard. Can create strong defense on their borders and they want to assimilate as many independent peoples as possible. Okay. Just cheese. There's a whole bunch of people that I was like, oh these are cool. Play with some of these guys. But... Yeah, so I should probably check to make sure that nobody else is. These are all the ones that are um and Gilgamesh is the one that's been kicking everybody's ass? Is he no. It's a, that's an expert AI. Of course the horse guy. Advanced. The real question is, you're like, which one's harder? Advanced or Expert. I think Expert seems harder, it looks like. Because she he's definitely good. He's usually doing things. She's good, usually doing things. Expert, Expert. But Gilgamesh was an expert. Traitorous, adaptive, and to the end, they never surrender. Warrior. See, I feel like the warriors always do well. Always do well. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try this again and not use any of the imported AIs from, like, the multiplayer options, and I'll see if that still happens again. Oof. 
snack break while it loads. It's not part of a pop chart I haven't eaten yet. Pop Tart and Monster Monsters Champions Breakfast. The Champions Breakfast. Our universe contains infinite stories, most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. I left this blade in case you're new. On a small damp rock, there is a story that bears a second look. It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page turn. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together and things start to get interesting and a bit drier. I love the cheeky AI. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools cheeky. and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a servant rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. So adorable. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. It's potluck, y'all. <laughs> Struggle and cooperation have been rewarded. The and in the Neolithic era, draws to a close. Potlucks world are that because. Whatever's in your pot this is lucky. Has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. <clears throat> you are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? The race begins. A new world. A new history. Untold possibilities. There is so much to see, to do, to learn. Or, depending on one's preferences, to destroy you. It is very similar in that cheeky voice style. That's that's very true. <laughs> my favorite what well, my favorite part of that was the robot who's all depressed and sad, or maybe the ship that sighs when the doors open. <sighs> and the doors open. <laughs> so cheeky. I do enjoy British humor. I do enjoy British humor. Hey bats, thanks for joining. You just missed it. I don't, I don't know if you caught that. We just had to restart the game because there's a glitch in the new beta that has the war victory. And my theory is that it's from the imported AIs. So I'm trying this again Even without those an imported who AI. May have done something very clever. So we're definitely going to have to hopefully find our way to some drier pastures here. Full bellies and healthy children. I see where this is going. Could attack a deer. And we're stronger overall. So, yeah. I'll be silly and do defensive and just let him impale himself on us. My theory is that the hunters go out and they're like, oh hey deer. And they start just like hurtling insults at it. Be like, you think those are antlers? I've got a better coat rack. You know. And then the deer just is just so infuriated. Aww. Alan Rickman played Snape, too, right? Like, that's the Alan Rickman I'm referring to. This is the, That's not the voice we're listening to. But I guess the guy from The Checkers Galaxy was. That would be nice. <clears throat> I've messed up my green screen because I had to have the fan. <laughs> now the green screen is waving in the breeze and my computer is like, Alright, so I'm just going to end round again and let do the same thing. Because I'd prefer not to take a whole lot of damage, and it looks like I'm still going to take some more damage. It's like, damn it. Wait. Oh, but they don't die. Okay, I was like, I guess because we waited the full three turns and nobody won, so it was a draw, but they count that as a defeat. I guess they count that as a defeat for both of us. I'm unsure. 
That was new. I have actually died in this era. I found that pretty funny. You get a little cutscene, and it's like, um... Ah, you're dumb. Here's a new unit. <laughs> but then you, you start off behind. I mean, like, so it's a pretty big detriment, I freely admit. You're gonna ransack now. I used to have this theory. Uh, definitely, we are getting this. And I've discovered that if you put these two things together after you take that event, so the event that popped up just then was like, hey, you found a bunch of children that are alive and healthy, but all of their parents have died of some random whatever. So if you put the children and the hunting party like together in a unit, one of them dies, like the hunting the hunting party dies, and then all you have left is the children one, which is not that big of a deal because I think they're the same thing. They're the same thing. But I never put them together now anyway because you want to split them up. Fire be, Fire be with us. And they're ransacking and they're ransacking. So in a turn, we get all the things. I need to send this guy up here. Oh, that's the longest one. There's one over here somewhere. To the long way round. Now buy the whiskey for the way. And I sure would like some sweet company. And I'm leaving tomorrow. What do you say? And they still died. And they still died. I guess it doesn't matter if you put them together or not, because they still died. I don't know, it feels like that was a net win for me, because I had them for a couple turns, and I think they gained enough to create a new one. So I think it was still enough. I still think it was a net win for me. Also, whatever map I'm in seems to be rather cold. Another link. I'm going to split these guys off. Select one and click you over there, and I'll select you and click you over here. Hold up, right there. Go get that guy. Yeah. Get all the foods. I'll send him to this one. Oh, it's a blue mammoth. You got to look out for the bears. The bears attack you. I don't know why they think that bears attack things, but bears attack you. Ooh, but like, uh, there's horses and saffron. And a river. See, I really think, like, your first one kind of matters, because that's your... Like, see, this is better for beginning, I think, because food, food is good. It's going to take a long time to get your outpost down, but food. For your first city, you need food, and I can't even be mad at this because there's saffron in it, and that's 10% food per saffron. It's like, and that's two in the same territory. So definitely gonna found an outpost <clears throat> with three two with a three three three. It's fifteen and three there, or seventeen and three here. I think if we're gonna do an outpost that way, I need to start going this direction. Oh. A layer. A first, first ransack. ransack. It happens every See time. See the signs. Nerves too. Appreciate the local culture and take anything that's not Ooh. nailed down. More people. And I can put down another city. Other outpost, I should say. I shouldn't say that because this one's gonna go down first.
Okay, see, so now I don't have to, now I probably don't have the influence for that. I'll need 30 influence to put that here. Yeah. So, oops, there was a, there. I just don't know if rushing to the next era is 100% really what you want to do. Also, I should have split those off. Need that influence. Influence is pretty key. Hmm. This is going to be a really nice city. Truthfully. In 14 turns. I don't... I'm not sure... I guess because it's production that is the problem here. And I'm, I'm guessing adding population doesn't help. And that's kind of the catch-22 with these things. Oh look, there's that deer we tried to kill earlier. Oh. Got influence from hunting? Didn't know that either. Didn't know that. Keep forgetting to split these off. And I probably should wait, actually. We built this city on rock and front. Reach front property. Food, glorious food. Beach front. Beach front property. Because <laughs> of the river. Got it. <laughs> I'm slow. You know I'm slow, Bats. Slow. I wish there was an alert when chats came in. Because, I mean, I try to have it. Like, it's right there. I, get to, I kinda see it, and I have it over there. <laughs> I have chat everywhere. Sometimes when you're playing a game, you just miss it, though. And I feel bad, so I kinda want, I wish there was an alert. I wish there was an alert, like a ping. Like a ping. Maybe I should look, like in the future, I should use the move outpost option more. Like I probably could've built it on a place that had production-y situation. Like, I wonder if you build it right there, do you get the production near it? And then you can, once it becomes an outpost, before you make it a city, you can move it, then settle it. I think. I haven't actually tried that, and I really should have. We built this city on rock and roll. I don't know what song's like in my head. Look, there's a sanctuary. I don't know, every time I see a sanctuary, I want to holler, SANCTUARY! I don't know why. Three whole idle armies. Goodness me. Follow the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Apparently you get a bonus when you're on a river, movement-wise. So I've been told. I'm not sure if there's a way for me to even know that. So you still get fame for stars. I don't know if anybody else has upgraded, and I don't think it matters. I'm not obviously not ready for that yet. Of course, I can put down my second outpost now. And this one has horses, which I know are crucial. And it might be better up here. Like 13 and 5 is probably pretty good. Make these guys ransack that. 
Maybe I'll make him come over here. Yeah, since it looks like I'm going to need on the waddle and dob. So this is like this is one of the, the things that pops up every game anyway. And it's a uh, you stand there crossroads, like which one are you gonna pick? Like it's a uh, production, food, or astronomy. And I'm gonna put storytellers. I need early game science, um, and that's about the only way you get it, quite frankly. <laughs> quite frankly. Can they go down the... It's like they can't go down the river, but that's okay. Remind me later, it's fine. And I don't use... The first ransack. I hate that. I wouldn't call it elegant, but it may teach them to keep their doors locked. Thirteen and six seems like, and that was not the right one. I didn't want that to be the one that did that. Damn it! This one right there. I think I'll send that after the food. This one needs to get this. I want this one to plant the outpost. I saw that with the. Uh, all right, just finish finish what I told you to do then. You should go over here. And see, that's going to be ready in nine turns. So it's still going to beat this one. <laughs> uh, this is the violent food. I will choose the research cost. Because I only need one more population to get... The, the the next star for fame and fame is more important you kind of like that looks like it just fades off into nothingness really split them up and get some more exploring done Since I don't really know where to go, I'll put it on Auto Explorer for a turn. Turn it off. Hey, somebody picked the Harpeans, and that's usually the first. I'd like it to be known that I was able to go first and just chose not to. Because exploration. I really probably gotta make it come up here. And hopefully, I can get that next population situation, because population is pretty crucial. Alright, five food a turn, we'll see. Not to mention influence, so I mean, like, I'm still gaining influence and such. Ah, oh my gosh. The terrain gets me sometimes, like, truthfully. It has to get off the rock somewhere. Okay. So now I really have no reason to not, because I just got the other 200. And I, I probably won't do the fighting, so I might as well. <clears throat> Since we've already missed the Babylons and the Harpeans. I mean, I think early game culture is pretty crucial. And the LMAX give you one influence on a territory, plus influence, plus food. Plus influence for adjacent farmer's quarters and farmer's slots, plus the javelin guy. I mean, the LMAX seem really good. But the stupid, two stability on a district's pretty good, and early science is good. I'm still taking the LMAX, I think. For culture and food. Found another encampment. Good on me. Damn it, this one's still gonna turn first. I think. Mm, 
because layer. Just auto explore. Apparently, we're fighting. It's probably a bear. It's probably a bear. Fire be with you. The poor bear. Alas, poor Yogi. We knew him well. Ooh, but that got me a whole extra person. So thanks. Thanks, Yogi. We appreciate you. I need to have them send get them on the way back. Ah, the challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. As far as markets go, we know the Olmec traded their marvelously crafted goods of jade, but we know little more. This is your story to write. Oh. Excellent. And then somebody, that Babylonian turned the same time. Give us the tea. On what? Did I what did I, did I miss? Now, now. Give us the tea on the Olmax? <laughs> so I can make one of these as soon as it becomes a city, I can make one an outpost. I'm going to try to disband this unit, and that should give population, but it didn't make that any better, I guess, because you're only using, so like this gets three production per turn because of this tile and this tile, you're only using the ones that have been developed, and you develop them by building out quarters. So like, this one's got three and one, and one is why it's going to pop sooner than this one. And it doesn't really matter because I'm going to include both of them anyway. Probably very soon. Uh-oh. Saffron! That's in something I should expand to immediately. But I need 90 influence for that. Like, yikes. <clears throat> so I said influence early game is pretty crucial. And they're like, do this one because you get your first unit and that makes sense. Especially looking at all the I wish I had I have to rethink that, because saffron, like we have so many saffron deposits. And I haven't met another civilization yet, and so I mean, like, who knows? So it's a big map. So we got the Nubians, the Azurans, and the Mycenaeans. Executing your first, first ransack is not very friendly, friendly, but it's, it's better, better to be the ransack -er -er than the ransack -e. -e. Not that I've heard that a few times or anything. It's get on my nerves, but you know, it happens. There's another double river front. Let's go see what's over there. Lots of rivers. Sanctuary! Oh, the market rumors, right? I don't, I don't understand why people, um, why is that the biggest people rumors? Gosh, gosh. So this river flow begins here at this mountain, and then flows all the way out to this lake. So the mountain top should be the highest peak. Let's go see what's on the mountain top. I 
and we're just spinning turns because I've gotten orders. Oh, the Hatites have entered the arena. So these are the Babylonians. At the Babylonians. Can... A thousand welcomes. I am the leader of a great people. I hope you are one who keeps their word. Money, money, and prior charges luxuries. So definitely, we'll, we'll trade with this guy. Sure, why not? I have something here that should please us both. They're over there, and I already have a city. <laughs> I'll get one in two turns. It's upsetting. I mean, I did have to come a long way inland to find some territory that was r worth settling. I need to ransack this as I'm doing it. Okay. Acknowledged. Top versus bottom. It always comes down to that, doesn't it? It always comes down to that. Especially in the gay world. <laughs> okay, so we're still waiting for the ability to do influence. Uh, it's literally like the next one I need, and I've explored explore, explored it fully, and I will probably put it here-ish for defensibility sake. Hmm. And I might as well just make this guy go north, but he's gotta come off this mountain somewhere. Let's go see where this river goes. Alright, so I'm just going to let these guys sit here for a minute. I don't know if it works for... Right, because I didn't get one that time. So I don't know why sometimes you get one and sometimes you don't get a pop. So I'm going to wait till I have a city there. The first outpost means a first step into a new territory. And a new extension of your empire's power. But also a new vulnerability. And that puts four people in this city, which is good because it gives like a balance to that. But farmers uh, are an issue, clearly, because you only get six food, and I believe you use more than that. So like, I lose one in four turns or one in three turns, whereas I could move my science up or money. But science is probably more important. The production would add 18... That takes two turns off of that pottery workshop. But I'm going to lose one in three turns. So maybe I need to make a... So let me read this destruct. It's per adjacent farmer's quarters. So I should probably put down a farmer's quarters first. Like here. And that'll give me four plus food. So it'll give me five, seven food. And I can do that in six turns. Is it four turns? That's in six turns. So I might be able to come back and buy it out a little bit before it, I lose a pop. And this is one of the changes they made. So it's faith in the main plaza or faith per administrative center. So it depends on if you have a lot of cities or if you have a lot of uh, attached territories. Because each attached territory is has an administrative center. So if you're going to get your cities more than five, uh, that's probably good. this is probably going to be way better early game. Because now this is producing five faith a turn, I think. Maybe next turn. It says that, cause it, but it doesn't register the thing yet. So probably next turn I will produce five faith. And we're still in five turns here. We're waiting for... This is definitely things we want. Why Influence would on the main plan 
Let's keep it simple. We've been here. The other one's our outpost creation cost at 38. <clears throat> Another event, the packing of poultry. This one happens every time it's due. Um, and you can pick science, faith, or stability. I always pick science. I don't know why you'd have a stability issue in your first city like this early game. Don't know why. And we found out where the river went to this tiny little lake. <laughs> Ooh, another layer. Stay there. Curiosity collected 60 gold. That's a bonus. Two idle armies. We'll ransack this. Um, still waiting on the influence. Actually, wait, we had to do this to enact the influence. To. 50%. That seems to leave creation. a lot of interpretation of right and wrong. Not to mention yours and mine. I haven't got to a point where I can buy this out yet. Also, 45 to attach that second territory seems like something I might want to do as well. Now, the Egyptians have entered the arena. Successful ransack. I don't already. I guess I just. I guess I already did that. I play a lot of these games recently, and they're kind of all blurring together. <laughs> okay. So. Ooh. I can see clearly now. The fields are gone. This guy's still waiting on that influence. Fifty-six influence now. Definitely carpentry and then domestication as well. I was supposed to get 25% off reduction on that one. But I don't have no horses and I haven't come across. Oh, I do have those the horses to the south of me. That might be something more important than extra saffron. Hmm. How convenient. That didn't do the ransack. I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna forget it's over there. I swear. But I can attach this territory now. And that helps me out a lot. Look at that. Because now we're up to eight people, and we lose one in one turn, though. Still losing one in one turn. So the fact that I attached that means I lost <laughs> a population. I should have waited. Wish I could undo. I mean, I guess I could detach it. Then I would wait. I've would lost the influence. A granary would help, but can do little about that. Darn it. Darn it. Let's go kill the deer. I'm sure they're hungry. Sure they're hungry. We'll keep an eye on like it's been such a long wait. I guess I need to get this guy back over here anyway. Oh no, that's in San Lorenzo, so never mind. I now have the horses. But I should send him back here because I can produce better art, better scouts now, so might as well. I'm gonna leave him here till the outpost, because that's all he's doing is the outpost. And it should be next turn. Next turn. And then I put a farmer's cord over there. How cute that is. Can put it down. It's like, put it there. 
I want to put it here because 5 and 20 seems better than 14 and 10 to me. Or maybe 11 and 15. That's pretty good, actually. Still pretty defensible. Uh, probably set a defense. Might want to build a warrior or two. I mean, even though my closest rival is a million miles away, I bet we'll have a city state in between before that's a thing. Idle armies. I'll send them into San Lorenzo. Um, I'm kind of afraid if I disband it, it's going to make him lose a lot of food all, all quickly. So I might just let him stay there for a minute and I'll put in some javelin throwers. I can just purchase this out. Will do. And as they produce a javelin thrower, I'll just disband <laughs> the archer, uh, the scouts. And hopefully that will make up for my... Lack of situation, but it's seven turns. That's so many turns. It's only five turns now. Here I'm thinking I'm all productive and shit, but new. <coughs> Definitely have to queue up that. Definitely have to queue up that. You're like, I need so much production. Station it there. Uh huh. I always cremate, cause but then production. I just said I needed all this production, don't I? I'm gonna pick that for the production. I really need the production. That didn't really help that much, though. I wonder if it comes on next turn. No. That did very little. Did very little. Wait. Actually, I feel like I, I do need one of these out here putting out things, you know, outposts, even though I plan to do that with my archer once it's done, or I could have made them a scout, that was the whole point of bringing them back, is because I could make them scouts, but I was afraid of the food, never mind, I'm done, I just don't like wasting turns, and it's going to take a lot of turns, oh look, there's one over there, see, look, that's a thing, an emblematic unit is a living culture manifested in an organized troop. Let's see how the neighbors view it. No mercy. Let's go see if they can attach this. Right. I'm gonna deploy it there. Target is not within your unit's current position. I think it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna leave it here and shout insults at him. You're fat. That's not even like fur fluff. That's actual fat. Uh, your tusks are like so big. Like that's that's a problem. Mammoth down. We only gained gold for the mammoth. Nice, and we got a uh, culture and science. That's super nice. So my next territory. feel should be down here somewhere. 
probably production related. Off we go. I should send him back to make another unit. World Wonder can be claimed. First one to claim a wonder. Angard of Babylon seems to be like everyone gets. But I'm not really sure why. It gives you a luxury res extracts any luxury resource from a deposit it's built on. It must be built on a luxury resource deposit. It can be built once in the world. It shares a project, it's placed. You can no longer move the construction from the tile chosen. So, I mean, but, like, what's the point of that? Can't you just build an artisan's quarter and then later on, like, why, once you get. Like the the wondrous effect from that, like what does this give you the wondrous effect of the thing when you put it on there? That's not clear. The wondrous effect of this would be plus five percent food from saffron per saffron. I mean, like I'm gonna have four deposits of that. Twenty percent food across my empire would be nice, but I don't even know what that's what it is. I almost always choose Temple of Artemis because I like the. Your units get plus 10 healing. And the Pyramids of Giza... It reduces all industry costs. That's pretty huge. It's part of the whole game, like, it just makes all of your interests, all of your in your districts 20%. It doesn't look like it's going to be much of a military game, because it's huge. I'm going to go with it. Build the Pyramids. I'm sure the Egyptians are real mad. Stole their shit. They're mad. They mad. Did I lose a population again? Why is there only five people here now? That's still negative one in 19 turns. So I mean like, maybe I need food? I need to build some market quarters. Really. But production would be nice, so I could, you know, produce things. Oh look. Another thing I need to build. Well, I can attach that one at 120. Oh, and I just spent money on that because it was in an influence? No? What happened to all the influence I had? That, I guess, no, we, we did that for a while. I must have done something with influence and I don't remember what I did. Oh, I bought the, I bought the, 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 yeah, shit, 67, next turn, you can just chill out for a minute. Is this even where I want to build this? I wish it, I wish you could tell, ahead of time. <laughs> I feel like best production around is going to be like right there. Can I have three, 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 and three, plus a one and a one? <clears throat> Not going to be very much food. Clear a forest. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, it has to be belonging to one of your cities. So we'll just we'll just skip it for a minute. Okay, great. I'll merge these guys up. Can put down an outpost. Three and sixteen. Current research. Probably uh, I should have done that first. We have a whole lot of rocks. It's a whole lot of rocks. Merge them up. My next claim will be... Probably this river one.
So no, you working today, Bats? This one's basically like, people are having arguments about who should be in charge of the religion, and I think everyone should be in charge. Everyone. Making my way downtown, attaching outposts and making crown. I don't know. Bump it a bump it a bump bump. Bump it a bump it a bump bump. Because we're so now we're gaining food, gaining people, building stuff. My next outpost will cost 80 influence. This one will cost 345 to attach. So could be thinking about my next city now. Could be thinking about it. Send them up here to explore. The R2-D2 bong. Isn't it cute? Okay. Ooh, ooh, we found copper. Look out, y'all. I probably should attack this guy. These get combat bonuses on forests, so we're going to make them do that. We attack first, so... Shouldn't have been that big of a deal. Nice. 20 gold for nothing. And I think they get some experience points. I don't really have to tell... Like, I wish you could kind of tell where your veterancy levels are. Oh, you can. Nice, we got 21 experience points for that. Fair. Be like, wonder what else they get experience points for. Do they get it for... Like, what was that? There was definitely something over there. The Elmex? Is it because you want to buy them? I am listening. Incense gives you plus money, and this one gives me industry. I need that, but can't afford it. Could buy the incense. Find things that give me gold? I'll take it. Let's see what else I got. I have something here that should be nothing. The world right, comes right. a bit closer together. Thanks to the first trade link that will bring shiny baubles. And greedy vendors. So this one's like now that I've hunted some things, it goes. What? How do you want to use this meat? You can make food, you can make money, or you can reduce your land and industry costs. I guess I'll make food. Eh, let's make money. Cause that's let's make money. I probably need some money. Cause I think food was doing okay up here, right? Like yeah, well not really okay, but I'm gonna build some stuff afterwards to make food. Like, some farmer's quarters and my emblematic district are on the list, even though I need stability, but Pyramids of Giza and the Obelisk of the Gods only 12 ticks away, but production is big, so maybe I should make some maker's quarters and get some of this production, because if I make a maker's quarter, I think I can make one up this direction. If I move it up here, this one gives me 7 and this one gives me 10. I don't know why. I guess it's six from exploitations, one from districts. It's 
So I'm not sure, like, Exploitation Stone Field, Exploitation at Prairie. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Like, it kind of makes me want to put another Farmer's Quarter over here, but then build a Maker's Quarter? <laughs> the Agrarian Harapans. You're as likely to meet their canals and farmers as the... Great. Greetings. Greetings, Sovereign. Do you too believe that a proposal? I don't have the gold for this. <clears throat> oh look! How convenient. As I was thinking about settling my second city, one pops up. That might be my third one, actually, because I still think I might need one over here somewhere. But I need to put an outpost down. For sure, on this copper. I was like, put it up there. I don't know why it says to put it up there. Yeah, I'll move it up here because I don't really know what I'm getting into. Proposition: the Harpians Exchange. Oh, I haven't accepted it or accused because I don't have the gold yet. They want me to... I probably have to make that decision, but I don't have the gold. A lost I mean, opportunity. that seems a little weird. Like, couldn't I just wait until I had the gold? And be like, yeah, sure. Hold on, let me get the gold. Let me get you next week, I'll buy your maps for gold. We can't agree on the deal? No, it's fine, it's whatever. Oh, and this is already here. I don't know if I really want to enact that yet. I might wait to put this in here. Because I feel like I need influence for other things, like putting down this uh, depository or outpostatory. The outpostatory. We've been going nowhere. Okay. Shall we try? Yes. Why not? This is a legalized mugging, not a treaty. A legalized mugging, not a treaty. Right, because they're all like, you know, my maps are worth 80 gold, but I want abilities to buy your shit for free. Because if I had said, um, if I, I, I've never ever had an AI purchase things for me. Like, they say they're going to, but I've never, that's not ever happened. So, like, put it over there. Um, that looks like a pretty good one. 6 and 13, 2 and 15. I mean, like, I'm not going to put a city here. And we need production, but that was 14 and 2, so I mean, like, do I want food or production? <laughs> 5 and 14. 6 and 11, toward 12 to 5. I think I put it there. So then you're like, what is old San Lorenzo doing? I need to put down this guy. That's what I need to do, because an emblematic district. What just happened? Uh oh, see, so yeah, and those are weird too. I've been told that you can guide things around with your mouse. I wonder if it works with the animals. Oh look, you can make a move. That's that's adorable. They run away from your mouse. How cute is that? Game's so cute. You like the people? Yep, the people run away. That's so cute. Uh, okay. Just found that an outpost here. I feel like I should put one down here. Just to be that guy. Like, if I just spiral outwards, that's what I need to do. Like, this is my base of power. I'll just spir spiral outwards. Food always better. <laughs> that's not how I live my life anymore, Keith. Remember my life, my life advice to my younger self? That's, that's a fair. This is what I had for breakfast this morning. If you can't tell, it's a half of Pop-Tart. <laughs> I, I didn't even eat the whole Pop-Tart. 
monster and half a pop tart. That's what you eat. I often reminisce about how I used to like food. This food. Like, whatever happened to food? But rivers are always good because they, uh, you have all this technology that adds things to tiles along rivers. So settling a city on a river is always good. And I'm looking at outposts that might become cities in the future. And this territory... Not a great territory, freely admit. This where you want that? So no, you don't get the tile next to it. <clears throat> You're like, nope. Alright, got start going. We're close with the population. Working on science. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put him, send him back up here. You have folks, constructed yeah. a first emblematic quarter. It's a symbol of power and a lasting memory of this era. Go ahead, be smug. Smug. That's me in a nutshell. Also, I've learned that if you're going to assimilate a free people, their mercenaries uh, come with if they're already in your employ, but if they're not, they just disappear. So it's usually worth it to pay that one-time upfront cost to have permanent units. Because it's relatively cheap, actually. Actually. Alright, so... Stability's still... doing well. And I could build other of these. And you might be like, how many more farmer's quarters am I really going to get in this one? Well, I should put it down there one. Which leads me to believe that I should put a district there, and then I can put something else around it. Artisan's quarters I need to build. That's a definite thing. Never mind. And yeah. Still doing pretty good with food, but it's going to change in one turn. I guess it put it in a farmer type situation. Alright, so I definitely need to... Food, then production. Money, then science. I guess I just need to move it around. I balance it. That works out pretty well, I guess. We're still getting gains, we're still getting influence, money, faith, a little bit more science, because I need to catch up on this science business. Oh. Well, I was winning that hard, actually. I think the last game I was playing, I was struggling quite a bit. Struggling quite a bit. Maybe later. I think influence is far too important in the early game, start enacting all these. And then some of them you don't even really need. You want some later. I'm like, eh, we'll see. 
we'll see what we're doing with that. Well. Fishing's research. Another air star. So I need two more. Um, and I, to get the best fame for my buck, I should spend it on making influence. But that's so hard in the early game. Because, specifically... I think build your stars, probably. Or expansionist stars. Because, specifically, you have a lack of buildings that give you culture. I can get culture if we do using this guy. I don't know, uh... That gives me influence. So I should remember to use that every 10 turns. 15 turns. Um, this game of prophecy... Somebody I'm playing games with sees a prophecy in the way I win a game. And they're gonna start blabbing, and I could pay them to shut up, I could overlook it, and it would cause me negative 5 stability. Or I could listen to them and my science would suffer. I usually just pay him the gold. Like, I guess he beat me in the game, so we'll just look at it as a lost bet. I uh, definitely need to get this. Definitely, definitely, definitely. The floodlands. There's an unrelenting deluge of rainfall. So it's like, I can gamble, I could adapt, and have a chance of bad consequences. Or I could protect them and spend the gold and get good consequences. Will do. Will do. Protect the people. They are important. Gosh, that was like a down the hill. So now it's going to be like, well, what do we do? I'm gonna turn some auto explorer on. So, and speaking of that, I need to make a scout warriors. So I can really put on some auto explorer. <laughs> Time for your first battle? Oh no! I bet you're absolutely dying to see how your fighters handle themselves. I'm going to retreat, because hopefully I can buddy them up and make that a little more fair. Because now they're going to come down here and attack this one. Damn it, I should have... It's like the second I split them up. second I split them up. And you have to get to organized warfare. Damn it! What did I just say? <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> Retreat. Or at least, like, this one should be close enough to get him at least together, I hope. There we go. Now I'll put that one together. The scout archer. I don't know if I can get over here. Might as well. I'm gonna send it that way. See? So I paid 180 gold to get 15 food for five turns. That's... Probably nice. Still working on food, industry, industry, science is slacking a little bit. Uh, I feel like districts are in order. But I also need some infrastructure. You know, like, the flood irrigation would help. But districts, districts are early game. I need to just put some districts down and start spreading out. Because if I put it here, it gets me 17 food. And then freeze up all these tiles to make me put things on as well. Because <clears throat> I need to build my emblematic district. So writing is always good. Now they're gone somewhere. We're like, what happened? Where'd they go? Which way did they go? Which way did they go? Alright, so I will split him off again. Put him on auto explorer. 
I'll move them up here. Because I have enough to make a city at this point. I could purchase them. So let me get their mercenaries first. I will. An independent annex people has city. been added to your empire. Ah. Uh, they may seem small. I guess the, but I had great to pay for the other one too. Can come from small beginnings. It's okay, I guess. Got movement points. Didn't really have movement points. <laughs> uh. I probably should have him make an outpost or something over here, actually. Five and seven. Ooh, three and fifteen. Done. Should send this one up here to make an outpost. Follow me. These guys should make an outpost. Okay, seems good. I'm trying to claim the territory. I'm gonna leave him on exploring because I think these guys have done enough things here. So what kind of districts do we have going on here? They put a market quarter there. I mean, they put a farmer's quarter there, a maker's quarter there, and a market quarter there. Uh, that's what I suspected. But with 70 stability, actually, maybe I should re that. Give them this gods of the obelisks. And I should put this in a place that I can put other things around it. Like here. Oh, that's probably still too close. If I put it over here... Better bet. About 105 turns. That seems fun. Uh, we're gonna put this one on city growth. Send this one back for another outpost. Actually, maybe I'll send them up to explore this a little bit. Cause see, Off we go. another physics. Um, I always pick this one because plus one. This is a great. I mean, the industry cost also good, especially this early. But I would rather have the one. I have plenty of soldiers out. It does seem logical that people shouldn't have to do a job unless they want to. <laughs> nom 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 nom. That's a cute emoji. Apparently, whenever I get to affiliate, I should be able to have emojis myself. That should be a thing. I'll be able to design custom emojis. I was thinking about that today. I really need a theme song, like an intro song. Like, you know, remember, I don't know why the one the, from... I feel like the, the Craig Gilborn show was started. It's like, the Late Late Show is starting. Yeah. It was just, I just need something riffy. Emblematic, so people hear it and think of me. Because advertising works. This one happens every time you um, add in a city from, like, an independent people. One of the guys comes up to you all dressed in rags and tore up, and he's like, I used to be the ruler of this city. And you can redress him and, like, yell at him and be like, you're stupid. How dare you even attack me? You could accede and be like, okay, sure, sure, and they'll get faith. Or you can belittle and you get stability, but something else could possibly happen. Uh, I'm unsure what that is, so let's find out. A new independent Dependent people. And who are they? Time will tell if they are helpful, helpless, or history. Annual battle. This seems good. I wish we had attacked first, because... That seems bad. Because also, I think I have to take this back this turn or next turn, maybe, to win this. Even though I'm sure, not sure that matters. For your family. High ground bonuses are pretty amazing. I'm going to shoot with the stronger unit first. 
Oh yeah, see, that just takes him out. Because you take a bonus when you, like, you take a hit. Be little. <laughs> I mean, you know, some guy comes up to you dressed in rags and is like, ah, I used to be a king. And sure, sure you were. King of the trash cans! Ha 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 ha! King of the raccoons, ha 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 ha! King of the dumpster bandits, ha 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 ha! You know, I could, I could think of lots of belittling things to say to somebody who's pretending to be a king of a city that I just took over diplomatically. Like, you must not have been a great king. I'm just gonna go on record. You must not have been a great king. Um, hey, so let's run away. Thanks. Let's see if I can make them my friends. Hey, friends. Be my friends. We're friends. Thanks, friends. Let's have some more money. Stop killing my shit. Thanks, friends. Merchant Star. Ah, oh my god, Trash Panda, and you have an emote for that. That's, is, the, I feel like this is the emote supposed to be what's-his-face from Guardian of the Galaxy. Did someone just invest in my horses? I don't recall, oh, I guess I did, I did queue it up. I was like, I, remember, I don't remember that being, there being horses. But apparently, horses, of course is. A horse, a horse, a horse, a horse. Horse, of course, a horse. Um, the struggle. This one gives me the plus one to city cap for stability. Hmm, I still might make another city because it looks like the Mycenaeans have gotten a little. Sorry, the Babylonians have gotten a little nuts over here, spreading out like the disease they are. But your real question is, should I actually probably spread out another one and then make one? But then you're like, I could just take this one in just a minute. Like, that's probably what's really going to happen. So I should just continue building out that direction. Because that seems like the smarter thing. And then uh, there's, the, there's my fourth city in that direction, so... Yeah, I, I can't imagine. This one's actually a little too close to me. I'd rather it be further away, but... What ifs? It'll be fine. I think they were supposed to be putting down an outpost. Slowly but surely. The guys can go back to their home city. Because whenever this one becomes an outpost, I will attach it. And these guys are a little injured. I'll just have them heal. Actually... Actually, I shall move them here. And make them heal, so they're, at least they're in a little better of a defensive position. Because we're friends with them now, right? Idle army, that's okay. Why can't they heal? They're not in the territory, because that's the end of my territory. That's wonderful. Sometimes the way the maps are drawn are really weird. Just gonna go on record as saying that. Now, things that one generation learned can be passed to the next. Nice. Via something more reliable than campfire stories. Follow me. So I'll open up some more of that while we walk around. Oh, like apparently you can't go that way. Should definitely invent the wheel. I mean, I want organized warfare next. Because that's a, that's a pretty crucial one, and I was tempted to not even get... I, I, I did do that, actually. Because I would rather have... I mean, I don't know, roads are pretty nice, too. Roads are pretty nice. What was his name? What was his name from Raccoon?
from what's his face from Guardians of the Galaxy. Sprocket, rocket, rocket. Rapid and dangerous, the Hittites. Get ready to hear the sound of chariots. Rocket. This is where I greet you, impress upon you the wonder of my people, and tell you my ambitions. No? Maybe. <laughs> it's weird. Money, money, science, and they relate. They retaliate until extermination of the aggressor. Interesting. So, uh, I have things to trade for your consideration. They do not. I hope they trade with me to be great. Okay, so Idle Army will still set them there. We had them exploring, but they actually need to come over here and grab this territory. I may enter a new era. I'm going to remind me later because I don't really care so much about being the first one to get to the new era. As much as I do about the fame, which is what really matters ultimately in the end. <clears throat> And I'm 200 influence off the next turn, and I make so it's four turns. I'll get that, and six turns I'll get that. So that's another one of those. But I have been streaming for three hours in seven minutes, so I'm probably going to take a little break. Uh, I plan to stream again this evening, but I can only sit here for. Same. I'm gonna live forever. Right, that's the name of this game is Fame. So you have to play Fame. That's that's important. But I'm gonna I may come back. I'm not sure what else I have planned for the rest of the day, but I think my sol solar panel bits came in today, so I might have to work on that. But my next stream is gonna be this evening. Um, I think I have it scheduled at five to nine. So I'll see you guys then. Remember that if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, and follow for more Fire of Life action. Thanks. Bye.